Welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, I'd like to talk about what is and why do you have a nervous system. So for what it is, what is the nervous system? It is all nervous tissue in the body And in terms of the major parts, there's two major categories to remember. The first one is CNS, or central nervous system. And the CNS consists of the brain, and the spinal cord. And then the PNS, P stands for peripheral, the peripheral nervous system. And these are basically nerves. You could think of the PNS as being all of the rest of the nervous tissue of the body, the nerves that go out to the limbs the nerves that go to the visceral organs, to the heart, to the lungs, etc. So that is what it is. Now let's look at why do we have one. So why do you have a nervous system? The major reason is communication. And coordination. I come from a bit of a military background, so I think of it as command and control of the body, but communication and coordination, same thing. So yeah, communication and coordination of the body, um, or command and control of the body. You can put it that way if you'd like to. What's meant by that? Um, the brain and the spinal cord do what's called integration or thinking. They process information. Um, so I guess first, there's, there's three major steps to this communication and coordination thing. One of them is that they take in sensory information. So the nervous system takes in sensory information. It takes in sensory information about the outside world. For example, what you see, what you touch on your skin, um, the temperature, things like that. But it also takes in sensory information about the inside of the body, the internal environment of the body. And this is very important to remember because it's the major way that your body maintains homeostasis that balance of the internal environment that we need to stay alive and healthy. The nervous system takes in information from internal receptors about things like temperature, um, electrolyte balance, water and electrolyte balance, um, pH of the body, blood pressure from the receptors that are in the blood vessels, etc. So we're taking in information from the inside of the body. That information about the outside world and about the inside of the body is dealt with through a process which is called integration. The term integration takes into account all of that sensory information that's coming in, but also integration includes thinking. 
So in humans, which have a huge capacity for imagination, that kind of thought dealing with imagination and with remembering things and what you're doing right now, learning A&P, all of that is part of integration, making sense of that information coming in, and in the case of imagination, making up all new kinds of information. All of that's integration. And then three, none of this would be of any use that we've done before if we can't do something about it, and that's what motor output is about. The central nervous system sends out signals to the rest of the body to make changes. Go back to the internal environment. Let's say your blood pressure drops because you just stood up out of bed, so your brain is getting less blood because of a lower blood pressure. There are detectors in the blood vessels of your carotid arteries going up your neck and in the aorta coming off the heart that detect the blood pressure. And when they detect a drop in that blood pressure, the brain responds to that by telling the heart to beat faster. It sends a motor output to the heart saying you need to increase the rate of heartbeats and that causes more blood to be pushed up towards your brain and increases your blood pressure again. That's one example of motor output. From the PowerPoint that you should have gotten from me, there's a picture on there that shows a lady standing there shivering. You can think of the sensory information that her body or her, her nervous system is receiving as the cold, the heat being removed from her body detected as cold, that information is taken in, the nervous system makes sense of it, the environment outside is colder, um, and the body is de decreasing in its temperature, so receptors from the inside are sending information to the brain saying that it's getting colder in the internal environment of the body. And the motor output from that, the third part of it from that, is the lady taking her arms and holding them close to help retain heat, and then her muscles probably shivering to help produce more heat. That's the motor output. So why do you have one? Communication and coordination and, the, and these three major things that the nervous system does. Takes in sensory information, makes sense of that sensory information by integration, and then motor output to respond to that sensory information. And that's what the nervous system is and that's why you have one. So that should help you with that essay question on the exam. As always, any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me. Thank you again for watching.